What is up you guys, back at you with another video. Today we're talking the best mods you can have for the Creality CR10S Pro. Hey guys, my name is Anton. I do content on all things 3D and if you enjoy 3D printing content or just watch fun, cool models being made like this Iron Man suit over here, hit the sub button down below. You won't regret it, great awesome content. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. That greatly helps me out. Without further ado, let's get into the top mods for this printer. I'm going to give you guys five of my top favorite mods for this printer. And I'm going to go down from the list going up. I used this printer for over two months now. And I've learned that number five coming down, I don't feel like this one's a real mod, but nozzle size. You come with your packet of a lot smaller than 0.4 millimeter nozzle sizes. But they don't have what I currently use is a 0.6 and I would like to use a 0.8 and a one millimeter nozzle potentially. For such a giant printer, it's kind of surprising to me that they did include more nozzle sizes. But if you want to really get the best out of your printer, bump up that nozzle size at least to 0.6 millimeters. You're going to be able to get faster prints, about 20% or so. You're not going to lose that much definition, especially for big volume prints like stuff like this. And it's just overall going to make your life easier. I promise you. It's nice to be able to adjust them. Now, I do appreciate that they included smaller size nozzles, which you can do smaller models and even better definition on those. But if you want to get maximum use of this 300 by 300 millimeter print bed, you know, it's all the way 400, get a larger nozzle. I don't know why Corella didn't include it, but that's a great one. Now, I am talking mods, and that's why it's the bottom of the list. I don't feel like it's a true mod. So coming in at number four, get yourself a better fan duct. My fan duct, I don't have it for display here because it's actually on the printer. It broke. It's only on one hinge. And you'll see in the corner of the video, that model is the one that I used to replace it with. Now you want to print it something with other than PLA because PLA will melt and deform and you need that thing to be perfectly flat. Or you can print it in PLA and just keep swapping them out. Um, but yeah, get it in PETG or ABS. It's got three hinges instead of one. It won't fall off. You want to make sure it's perfectly smooth and it's getting the right air in the right place when you install it. But I had to replace mine in about a month. It broke. The print, the fan duct that it came with was not great quality, not a great design. This one improves it. I highly recommend you guys to get that mod on your printer if you have any issues with that mount. So I, I hear a lot of people that do have it. Now, if you don't, stay tuned. We got better mods for you guys that are going to improve your printer, which leads me to number three, Octoprint. Octoprint is an awesome mod to do for your CR10S Pro printer. Now, it's not something you can 3D print, unfortunately, but I have the parts down below that you would want it, and a video of me detailing how I did all those mods on there. Um, it's not a tutorial, it's just me following, following along, me doing it. So this guy right here, it's a Raspberry Pi. If you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's basically a small, cheap computer. You get a whole kit for it for under $50, ranges from $35 to $40, depending on which model you get. I got the 3B Plus. I got a little 3D printed cover on it. I haven't made a case for it because I've actually been trying to do different ones. But yeah, Octoprint. Why would we want to do that? Well, number one thing, as you see, that's really long and connected here, is this camera module. Now, several of y'all have been asking me if, hey, what did you do for the camera module? I use the regular Raspberry Pi camera and I have the link down in the description below of what I 3D printed the mount for it because it looks pretty nice and it's very adjustable and multiple and I like it and I kept the color theme with the printer so it worked out. Um, but yeah, that's what I used. It's made for a Prusa printer. So I actually have a link below if you have this exact model to mount it here. Great models they've worked great for me it's slid in perfectly it's all pla printed you don't need to do abs or anything like that you can really move your camera around to monitor it with octoprint now if you're new to the world of 3d printing you have no idea what octoprint is basically look at it as making your printer a smart 3d printer you are able to control it remotely you're able to monitor it remotely which is what i love most about it and there are some certain nice data features that you can get from it such as how costly are certain prints, how long will it take as a more precise measurement. I will say though, don't do Octoprint first because it does cause a lot of different issues potentially for prints. For me personally, I started printing from a SD card off the Octoprint and they all were failing with layer shifts. 
I started going to a local SD card, but just using Octoprint to monitor it and see the progress on it and see the camera feed remotely. Worked out great for me and that's what I use it mainly for. So just keep an eye out for that because Octoprint is even more of a learning curve than just the 3D printer on top of that. And if you're just trying to get 3D prints out of this printer, take your time on doing an Octoprint installation. It is $50 extra. So this leads me to point number two. Second thing that I really would highly suggest for you guys to mod uh, on your printer is a wham bam build sheet. Now you'll see a closer look in the top corner of the video, but as you see here, I haven't installed the wham bam yet because I want you to see just how bad the one that I currently have is. It's been used and abused. Now I am cautious with my, especially my electronics that are expensive like a 3D printer, but prints just really get stuck on there. If you don't have money to spend on a wham bam because they are kind of pricey i highly recommend you just get that print bed temp to 60 degrees celsius really helps out to get those prints stuck off now as you see here i just uh have this big old hole over here which will cause serious issues for my prints i just patch it with painters tape very easy you can switch this with a glass bed and not as many issues but i just prefer being able when i Especially when I schedule my prints so that right in the morning before I run to work, I get them off the bed and start the next one to go, or right before I go to sleep. It's not fun to get be greeted with something that's so stuck on the bed you can't get it off. A wham bam, couple of seconds and flexes, and it's off. It's great. It's very durable. I highly recommend it because the wear and tear will show on this one. So I think it's a good investment. And number one mod for my Creality CR 10S Pro printer has without a doubt been definitely the Noctune Advance. This printer, although not obnoxiously loud, is still loud. Way too loud than it should be. And I have it not in a garage or some sort of room that's far away, but actually in a living room that's near other rooms in my bedroom where I can still hear the printer. My computer is set up there. I'm constantly in the living room. And just hearing the humming noise of this printer was getting annoying. With some research, I found out for about $40, you could buy three Noctuna fans. It took me about an hour to install. I lifted the printer, installed those three fan modules. Link is in the description of the ones that I used. I have a video of me not really showing you how to do it, but just detailing as I do it, if you want to follow along. I didn't need anything else but those fans. You don't need to solder anything. You do need to 3D print a specific mount to get one of those fans correctly standing up. I'll have the link down in the description below. But look online for yourself for a tutorial of a walk along and how to do it, as I unfortunately did not videotape me doing it as a tutorial back then. I was just starting 3D printing. But after installing those three fans, this printer has gone down, maybe not exactly in a decibel count of half off, but it seems like it's half as quiet. It had very obnoxious fans. It was not a difficult or expensive upgrade. I highly recommend it. It's made my life so much easier. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, okay, you only mentioned about two or three things that I can 3D print. I wanted to 3D print a whole bunch of different mods and upgrades for my thing. Well, other than fan duck upgrades and all of that, you can do something for feeding your filament here. I haven't had any need for it. I have used this printer for two and a half months. I don't want to recommend you guys to 3D print a solution that I haven't needed, why would I tell you you need it? 3D printing isn't always the answer of all the certain things that you wanna do. Sometimes it is really nice for such as a camera mount or a case for your Octoprint or such that. But in this case, I think these are the top five mods you can do for your printer. You don't have to have them when you're just getting started, but they're really nice and just a easier way to have your 3D printing workflow more efficient and easier to use. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section if you think I should have mentioned something else to do as a mod or you have questions of any of the mods that I talked about. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more 3D printing content and I'll see you guys in the next video.